Hello everybody, my name is Phoebus and it has been a really long time. It's probably been about three months and I would just like to say that I am so incredibly sorry. Ooh. Now, I know I've been saying that I, well, I know that I said I was gonna be posting while I'm away at university and technically, technically I did once and then my computer bit the dust so i'm going to try and make up for that with this little festive speed paint that i've done and a phoebus talks all kind of rolled into one this will definitely be a lot longer though because well the speed paint took over two hours and if i try and reduce down the speed paint uh, to be any faster i think my computer might actually catch on fire um because it's already struggling to play the back of the video at like 600 percent increased speed so let's get this show on the road I honestly really don't know what happened with my computer. We got me moved down there. Moved down went fine. I may have cried a couple times. I think that's expected, being totally honest. It was a very stressful, long, hot day, but but other than that, it all really did go fine. Um, I got everything moved in, and I then went to a freshers event, which I don't want to say was a mistake, but I probably could have done with an early night and a good sleep. But then again, I probably if I didn't go, it would have been... I probably wouldn't have gone to many others. I did go to most of the freshest events. Um, but back to this, I got it set up, posted that video, I think on like within the first week. And then I went to go switch my computer back on, and it just didn't work. I know Uni Wi-Fi is not meant to be great, but like, it would not like connect to anything. No network, no Wi-Fi. No, Ethernet cable didn't work, I tried a Wi-Fi booster, not even like a hotspot on my phone let me access, like, the. And the this is the thing, the computer just didn't want to function either, like the lack of an internet connection just completely, it just completely died and I just didn't know what to do. And my parents came up for a resin, they took the PC home and I thought this is going to be like a project I'll work on over Christmas, I'll have to like fix a bunch of things and I'd wondered if like the Wi-Fi adapter was a bit broken or if the like some, there was an internal problem or there was like, a software problem i don't know what it was but then when i got back and set it all up and turned it on everything was fine and i don't know what the problem was there are still a couple of things that are wrong there are still a couple of things wrong which i'll get to later but i just guess it must be fussy with wi-fi networks i'm just happy it turned back on because i genuinely thought i was gonna have to spend most of my christmas break ripping it apart on the floor and lose my mind the problems that i have been having are some steam games that don't want to open anymore um I don't know what it is because they're all from like different developers and they all have different software requirements. I have been having some problems getting my uh, graphics card drivers to be up to date and a couple of other things. So I don't know if it's all connected, but I think I just need to spend maybe like the summer break, like just ripping it apart and just trying to figure out what's wrong and just hoping that I can fix it, which to be fair, pretty much does explain the lack of content because like if I don't have a Wi-Fi connection, I can't upload anything. But I'm here now and I feel like that is what is important. Um, I do plan on cranking out as much content as humanly possible while I'm at home, hopefully making enough content to kind of cover like January and a bit of February, um, depending on how I like decide to spread it out and how much I get the chance to make um, before I come back for like, I get a little Easter break in April and then I, I break up properly for university um, mid-June, which will be which will be strange to think about that like, I'll be, I'll be finished in nearly six months, that's really quite scary to think about because I'm only just coming to the grips with the fact that I'm finished with the first term. But I, again, I want to try and take enough time to spend with my friends and family, if I can get a hold of my friends, but I'm looking forward to spending like Christmas with my family. It's been quite nice. I don't ever think I've thought of a project this well. This isn't really a project, this is I want to make this like my career, but I've never thought of a project in such a long term before, but I'm definitely going to try because I'm very bad at thinking of projects long term. And I did have a lot of pre-recorded content that my plan was to edit while at uni and then post while at uni, but then obviously that didn't happen. So that'll all be being uploaded and then I'm going to record as much as possible to hopefully upload, hopefully some festive stuff, some Christmas stuff, and then just some normal stuff, just normal gaming content. Um, there is also some other content that I want to look at making, such as um, for my university course to have us watch a bunch of movies that are related to it. We've got a big essay subject, which is actually due in February, which I haven't started, and we need to have evidence of starting when we go back. So I really need to do that, but we have to watch a bunch of movies for like historical stuff. So I'm tempted to do movie reviews because I... If I was to pick a movie, I'm going to pick something silly and from the like 
from like the animated section of a streaming service rather than live action and all of these have been live action historical dramas and I have been bored to tears like one of these movies was like three hours and it was so boring so I think that might be fun to give a movie review on a film genre that I'm not interested in that'll be fun in terms of living out in university everything has gone fine it's gone good even most of the people on my course are relatively no they are everyone on my course is relatively friendly and everyone in the surrounding because we're in my building there's me and another course and everyone gets along really nicely there's been no major fallings out there have been some internal bickerings but it's mainly been stuff that's happened externally that has then been brought internally into the course which isn't great but these things happen you know it's like I'm just thankful I don't know anybody from back home up here I think that would kill me but I don't have any of that I'm still trying to get used to living in a city I'm not a big fan of being woken up to sirens or drunk people even though I live on the fifth floor I thought like street noise might be a bit better I might be less affected by that but no still here everything is clear as day even being several several feet off the ground um one thing I have enjoyed about being though, home though is not having to cook or clean for myself. I did a massive like clean before I came away um, and I was just, I remember just being in bed here and I was like, I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do for ages. I don't have to think about going food shopping. I don't have to think about like when does my toilet need to be clean. I don't have to think about any of that. And as long as I go back to my flat and it's not moldy, damp, destroyed, as long as the flat is still there, I'll be okay with that. Um, I did end up, and I was really peeved about this, I had to go back to my flat to pick up a parcel that had been delivered there because um, I'd ordered something off Etsy for a friend uh, for Christmas and it had said it would get there before I left for Christmas so I had it set to be delivered before we, like, so I had it be set to deliver to my apartment because if I knew it was going to be late I would have had it sent to the house and like, I'm, it's like a couple of days before I leave and I messaged the seller being like, hey, where is my parcel? And they're like, I don't know what to tell you, it's going to be there eventually. And it got there, I think I got home on a Sunday and it was like, delivered Monday! And I was like, no! So I had to go get back and get it, which is the benefits of having a direct train to where you live, to your university, which is really useful. Um, not what I wanted my, uh, my break to start with, but um, it is what it is. Um, to be fair, I've been, I've broken up quite early compared to a lot of other people I know. Um, like my mates that are at uni, they don't break up until literally the last minute. I thought all of them were going to break up on like the 15th. I thought they all broke up this week. Um, and all of them are like, no, we break up next week. It's like, why? Because I have to go back early because I broke up earlier. So I know for a fact that in the new year, a bunch of people are going to be like, oh, let's meet up. Let's meet up. It's like, I'm already back at uni and I'm going to be peeved. Um, as long as I get to see my mates once, I'll be, I'll be okay with that. Um, because I think that's what's important to me is like spending time with friends and family because as much as I am absolutely loving seeing my family again I also miss my mates um, which has been um, I think something that's been quite difficult because I have got very oh my computer's turned off I've had such a close relationship with my friends from secondary school and from college for, for like, such, such a close relationship it's been so bizarre having to rebuild from ground one and do the how are you? What's your name? Where are you from? It's been draining. And I'm glad I've done the how are you? Where are you from? What are your interests? Do you think I'm cool? Because I've met some genuinely real nice people from those kinds of conversations, which has been nice. I'm running out of things to say. My course is good. <laughs> I did I did I did have a plan for this to have some talking points. Um, but I'm trying to drag out my speaking for about 17 minutes which I really don't need to do because you guys can just watch the speed paint as time goes on. I must remember that I do have a project due when I go back which I've been working on which has been fun because it's like a set dressing project um let's like make props to set a table um for like a theme of our choosing which has been really fun. I've, I've enjoyed having because I remember at college I had a lot of creative liberties and I was worried that uni was going to be really strict really like regimented stuff but it's actually been like this is what you have to do but you can like pick all the fun bits like you have to make a centerpiece for a table but it can be for like any kind of table it can be any kind of centerpiece you have to use the materials you've been using in your workshop um days because we have like set days that we, we go and do workshop stuff and like it's been really fun i've enjoyed doing that and like 
the teachers are really nice. They've, oh gosh. Um, because they haven't actually seen any of the work that I've done at college and I really hope they never ask because I do not like my college work. Um, but they've all been like very encouraging. They've all been like, yeah, we're not worried about you. You're working really hard. You come in when you don't have to. Like you've been doing really well. So everything, everything's going at what I've kind of described as like a polite pace. Like nothing extreme has really happened. And like, but like, it's not that nothing's happened. Things are still happening. But it's just going like just like a nice a nice pace. I know that's not gonna happen in second year. I've been watching the second years and they are stressed out of their minds. Um, but they're doing a different program to us because they said they when we got there they changed the program. Um, so you, uh, we won't be doing exactly what they're doing now. Um, but I'm just I'm happy with the way things are going. I have even sorted my accommodation for second year. They sent us an email dead early to be like, hey, you need to decide where you want to live next year. Good luck. Um, and I've got a place to live. I've got another flat by myself because they sent that email out in October and I was like, I barely know some of these people. Would I want to live with them? So it's been, it's been good. Things have been good. I'm looking forward to the festive period. Um, I've really, I miss my parents. I miss my sister and I miss my dog a lot. I think it's definitely been difficult not having people around. Um, to be fair, I would just go down the corridor and pass to one of my mates and just be like, I'm sad, I miss my mom. Um, oh, I'm sorry to miss my dad, something like that. Um, just to kind of be like, just because I'm used to just coming home, to be like, um. So it's it's been different, um, but I'm definitely getting used to it. It's been weird living on my own because I now know how expensive things are, and now I'm very conscious about buying name brands. So I've started, like, I've been accumulating lists of how much things cost because there's a specific kind of butter that I like that doesn't you can't get. It, like it's it's quite expensive because it's like a brand. But I've been like looking around and I found like the cheapest place to get it so I can still get cheap butter. I know that's a really weird note to end this on, but there is nothing else I can think of talking about.
Um, I'm probably going to section this a little bit in at the end, so there's a little bit of talking before the video ends, depending how long I've been recording this for. But I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Good Christmas, good Hanukkah, good whatever you celebrate at this time of day. Good Yule? Is that what is the other one? A good festive period, a good festive break. Take a rest, uh, do something fun with your friends or your family. If, oh yeah, if there's any games you guys want me to play while I'm still at home, let me know and I'll get cracking on that. Um, as long as it doesn't break the bank. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed, I'm happy to be back. Um, stand at a fair like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.